Hey, what's up guys? Double A12 here and welcome you guys back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition video. Today we're going to be doing some kind of throwback video where I'm going to be showcasing you guys Minecraft Potion 0.1.0 Alpha 5 years later. So it's literally been, I think, 5 years. 2011 or 2012 was when the first like Minecraft Potion was released. And this should be the first version. But the thing, even though it does say 0.1.1, the reason it says that is because the very first version came out for Xperia Play, and 0.1.1 was the update that came out for Androids. But before I get started, guys, you guys know the drill, but I'm gonna add something a little special to this Lego, guys. If we get 1,000 likes on this video, I will do another one of these videos on the next Minecraft Pocket Edition update, 0.2.2, and 0.3.0, 0. You know, all basically, we're just gonna, like, you know, do every single update that we can just to be, you know, go through a bit of throwback. So, but we have to hit a thousand likes if you guys want to see more videos like this. So, anyways, let's get started, guys. So, first thing I'm going to show you guys is basically the menu over here. As you can see, it's vastly different for the, from the Minecraft Potion we know today. First of all, the logo is different, and it didn't have the, um, you know, it show, it still showed like the uh android bar over there as you guys can see it doesn't have immersive mode we're going to go into options and you guys get to see a lot of options sideways you can change your username which is what we're going to do right now to um aa12 there oh <laughs> 12 there we go server visible by default and we're going to play on fancy graphics because no one wants that all right guys um, you can do invert y-axis and all that. There is no split touch control, I believe, so that's gonna suck. And we're gonna turn off vibrations because we really don't need that. And that's it for the settings there. The joining games is only available for, um, Wi-Fi, you know, people who are in the same internet connection as you, LAN, or whatever. But, um, yeah, that's about it. So in order to go through this update, we have to start a new world, guys. We're gonna create new. I created a world earlier just to see how it's like. And you can name your world and all that over here, as you guys can see. So we're going to call this test, because it's basically going to be a test. And you can leave seeds over there. I do remember an old seed. This should be a pretty good seed, I do believe, for the old MCP update. And we're going to let the terrain build. The terrain did build, like, for some reason, the terrain built longer back in the day. But maybe because back then, we didn't have strong enough um, devices to play them on. But we're just gonna skip through to when this is done building to terrain. All right, here we are, guys. We are here on the Nyan scene, and I do believe um there should just be one game mode here, which is um I don't know if this survival creative. I actually don't remember, but I don't think there's really a creative mode since you didn't really need it since you had all these items. But anyways, guys, this is Minecraft 0.1.0 or the first, very first version of Minecraft Pocket Edition there ever was for Android devices for basically any device really. So this was it, guys. Um, this is the fancy graphics, this is as fancy as it's gonna get, and, you know, um, yeah, no beautiful skies or anything, which is, you know, yeah, it's this update. So anyways, guys, you guys know how the basics of Minecraft. What this has, basically, is randomized worlds, as you guys can tell, every time you make a new world, it will be random. Placing and destroying blocks, as you guys can see over there, hopefully that wasn't too loud. The ability to invite and play multiplayer on a world, you know, via wireless local area network, Save multiplayer worlds on a device, so if you entered somebody's multiplayer world, you can actually save their world. It never really was too, um, I guess, uh, helpful for me, to be completely honest, when I, if I remember correctly, but, you know, that was still a feature. And a file that was able to run on Android called Minecraft.apk in the Minecraft Assets folder, and that was basically for the first version of Minecraft, um, it was basically for the Xperia Play, but the reason it didn't really, it wasn't really for all Android devices was because, um, well, basically, it was because, you know, it was it didn't have touchscreen, I guess, you know, capabilities. But as you guys can see, we're on a very intense seed. Even though this is a pretty strong device, we still, um, you know, have this over here. This is how it's like when I'm on fire. 
And actually, because we're lagging too much here, um, I think we're gonna have to switch worlds. So we're gonna switch worlds super fast, guys. All right, guys. So this is a good time to talk about the world generation used for this version of Minecraft Potion because you guys should know that it did not have infinite worlds, but it's very similar to the Minecraft 1.2.0 alpha update for a Minecraft PC, also known as the Halloween update, which added another and all that. We obviously didn't have another here, but the um, you know, world generation is supposedly similar to that. But so you guys should know back in the day we could not sprint as you guys can tell there was no crouch button so we couldn't crouch either and we did not have infinite worlds or really a real beautiful sky to look at now the generated structures are as follows trees being the oak birch and spruce variant the uh, mineral veins being you know iron gold and all that we had all the ores back in the day so no need to worry about that and lava lakes and springs basically, you know, small like ponds of water since we can really have big oceans because, you know, yeah. Now as for blocks as follows, as you guys can see, we had ladders, cyan flowers, it was used in replacement for a rose since we didn't have that. Here we had our specific cyan flowers as you guys can see, this is pocket edition exclusive but it was later removed for whatever freaking reason to be completely honest. Um, dandelions, red mushrooms, brown mushrooms, sugarcane, dirt, wooden and cobblestone stairs, stone slabs, sand, sandstone, leaves, glass, stone, cobblestone, wooden planks, oak wood, block of gold, block of iron, block of diamond, bricks, torches, snow, wool of every different color. Now there was a lot of very like unobtainable items like no matter what you guys could do you could not obtain these items. So birch and spruce trees existed but you could not get the wood from them because you know you can just there really wasn't really um a survival creative mode like as you guys can see I can't fly but I have all these items here and I don't think we can really switch from survival creative as you guys can see if I try to create a new world um, there's really no options for survival mode or creative, so there's really only one mode in this game. Now since this is kind of, I guess, you know, uh, basically a creative mode where you couldn't fly, you couldn't really obtain, like, coal ore, iron ore, gold ore, or diamond ore, and, um, gravel, bedrock, clay, TNT, water, and lava, and there was a version exclusive item which was actually added to this version of the game that you can't really get, which, you know, sprouted a ton of rumors, but you could not get um, the camera feature thing, uh, as you guys could tell. Now, once again, guys, these are unobtainable only because you could not, like, really break anything to pick anything up. And another thing I want to show you guys is blocks back then that had, like, gravity falling effects. Um, they didn't have it in this version of Minecraft. Like, it wasn't added till way later, guys. I'll show you guys over here. I'm going to build this high up and... Bam, as you guys can see, it's basically like treated as normal blocks usually are. Alright, now since we're talking about 1.0 in general, the 0.1.1 update that we are on right now was the version released for all Android devices on October 7th, 2011. Now, the reason they made this was to add the touchscreen controls, and the only feature that was added into this version of Minecraft Pocket Edition was the auto jump feature that we all know, and you know, Minecraft PC got this way, way later on, but Minecraft Pocket Edition basically had it first. Now, we're not playing in this version of Minecraft Pocket Edition that I'm gonna be talking about, but it was the update coming after this specific update Minecraft Pocket Edition. Alpha 0.1.2 and the only changes made to that version of Minecraft Pocket was the addition of the third person view toggles perspective option, the mirror controls for left handed players, in game sound toggles, and help text if license verification fails. So yeah. I also forgot to mention that Minecraft Pocket Alpha 0.1.2 was the very first version released for iOS devices, meaning iPhones and iPads got this update for the very first time. This was the very first time Pocket was released for people who had iPhones and iPads because it basically started out on Android. Yeah, so it was released on November 17th, 2011, whereas when it released this version, specific version came out for Android, it released on October 13th, 2011. So there was a one month, um, I guess, apart, you know, it took a month for this up, when Disney really released release this update for Android, to be like, hey, we're releasing this for iOS too, so iPhones can play Pocket as well, which was, you know, the start of, you know, iOS people playing Minecraft Pocket Edition. 
All right, so the last version I'm gonna be talking about, which is the last, I guess, mini version of Pogchain that was released, was Pogchain Alpha 0.1.3. Now, this was this literally just added a bunch of minor changes and bug fixes, but it was released on December 3rd for Android and December 14th for iOS. iOS was always later with updates for whatever reason, but you know, um, that's the thing right there. Anyways, the changes that were made are better tablet support for Androids, less oversized in-game UI elements or, you know, user interface elements, performance improvements, especially in non-fancy graphics mode, so, you know, for people who lag, added cacti to desert, so this was the, you know, first time cactuses were, I guess, you know, added into Pocket Edition, so that was pretty, pretty cool. Um, added turn sensitivity settings, so you can actually change the sensitivity of your game and all of that, so that's pretty cool. Improved in network chunk loading and uh, more sounds in J version. Now, debug fixes were fixed to crash bugs when connecting to some iOS server maps and fixed block. Uh, blocks placed on snow were added incorrectly in multiplayer. Now a bunch of stuff were changed in iOS 2 and they added an update game block as the placeholder for not yet supported block types for um, you know, blocks basically, you know, like let's say if you tried to mess with textures and all that, it would just show an update block or whatever it said, update game or something, I don't know, something like that. And improvements in network chunk loading and they fixed a the bug with opening dialogues after closing the options menu. So anyways guys, that's gonna be really it, that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, where I'm gonna be talking about other updates as well, like let's say the Minecraft 0.2.0 update would be the next video. Let's try to hit 1000 likes in the, on this video guys, and leave a comment tell me that you guys want me to do more videos like this, cause it'd be pretty cool for me to go through every single old update, just to see, you know, what we had back in the day. It's very interesting to see this and see how far the game has come from these updates. And we're starting with the very first Minecraft Pocket Edition update. So if you guys wanna see more of this, where I do more, you know, Updates, just tell me so in the comment section below, and I would love to do more of these. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Double A12 here, signing out. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys, and yeah, that's about it. <laughs>